Good afternoon again and welcome to the uh, to the supplemental video for the uh, sheet metal and framing webinar. What we're going to do now is add a door and a lift cylinder, uh, modify the door, modify some other components and uh, uh, partially complete this assembly. First thing we need to do is to uh, grab a door. Now I've used this door before but it's um, it's a um, it's not quite the right size. Uh, I want to mate that face to this face here with a small offset. Let's find two millimeters that I've used before. Uh, I'll align those faces and then we will uh, just pick up these end faces here, this little end face here, down onto there. That's basically placed that in place, but it's uh, it's not quite the right size. Now I want to work out. Uh, how wide I need to make this door. So I'm just going to put a PMI dimension across there. Now I know that there's uh, that's to the outside and it doesn't include those bends etc on either side so my overall door width uh, needs to be changed to be, uh, let's go and edit, edit that, that needs to be changed to be, uh, let's have a look at the assembly behind, um, what did I say? I think um, I think the, the number is 960 something like that will do. So let's see how we go. Um, change that to 960. That looks pretty good. Let's go back to our uh, assembly and see how we go. That looks excellent in fact. So okay we've got that door in place. Um, Something else I need to do, there's a little hot hinge hole in the door and I need to replicate that hinge hole through into the cover here. So we'll use our features and what I'm going to do is do a cutout and a assembly driven cutout. So I'm going to do a make, make, modify this part, this one here, um, and we're going to use this hole, or this cutout here, to drive that. Uh, it says how far do we want to cut through to there will do and that's fine. Okay we'll finish that. Now what we've got here if I zoom in are two concentric holes and I want to use those uh, to assemble around. Another way what I want to do is put a um, an axial align on that cylinder and that cylinder and that's fine. Okay so just so things will move now, we need to get rid of some or suppress some relationships. So that's my two millimeter offset there. That's an alignment there. I don't need that one. So we suppress that one and I can suppress that one. Now I'm just getting ready to place my um, to place my uh, cylinder. I can lift this up so we can place the cylinder in there. You see we've got the ability to be able to animate this a little bit and I can check for collisions and what have you. So the first thing we're going to do is we need a hole to mount our cylinder in here. So um, to do that again I need to do a feature. I'm going to put a hole in here again. Just this time I'm going to put a hole on that face. Uh, and about there will do fine. And again, it's the same sort of thing. How far through do you want it to go? And that's done. Okay. So I'm going to find my cylinder assembly, lift cylinder. There it is. And this has got some limits built into it already. This uh, so it doesn't. Uh, it can uh, not uh, overextend. So there's a limit in the travel built into this. And we'll see the effect of that in a moment. So I want to mate the inside of that to there and I want a 20 millimeter offset for the uh, little fitting that goes in here. So there we go and take that cylinder, mate it up to that cylinder. Okay um, to make this uh, cylinder adjust we'll change it to a uh, make the, the sub assembly adjustable. Uh, that sounds like a tortism, it's, uh, it's not. Um, we have two types of assemblies adjustable and fixed um, and we can change between them so uh, on the fly 
uh, just making this an adjustable assembly so I don't want to create a part I want to assemble sorry not paying attention it uh, does help if I pay attention a little bit so I just want to align up those two cylinders now when we um, when we animate this now we will see the the cylinder moving in the transparency there and there's a limit to how far it'll go that's as far as it'll go that uh, cylinder won't extend any further so now we've seen uh, we've got the uh, we've got an assembly with the um, with our uh, uh, door our cover our lift cylinder and what have you but we've uh, probably forgotten a few things along the way so um, just let me check so I'll go into my uh, properties my property manager and we find for the cover I've forgotten to put a document number in there so that will be uh, and uh, it'll be release A for that uh, the title is uh, cover uh, left or right or something um, say so okay to that and the other thing that we want to do is inspect our uh, properties look at our property manager and we find that we've not put a material on there and that's stainless I believe isn't it back at 304 I'll make the cover 304 okay the cylinder steel the lift it's an assembly the rod steel uh, I've got the square tubing is steel um, and that's all good so we'll update all of those now the final thing that we have forgotten to do here and uh, you can see the colors have gone on that we've got the masses and weights and what have you is that we need the little uh, feet that, uh, that belong in here so I'm just going to turn on the sketch of the uh, the track truck chassis and we'll use that to put in our um, brackets that we created right back at the beginning so I'll just put the first bracket in here use our quick pick to find that back plane to mount it onto there then all I have to do is find the edge in there and lock it onto that and it'll line up everything I'll put another one in so you can see it so it's not a fluke quick pick to find the back face of that to mate onto that face and then it's just a matter of finding the bottom edge and clicking it onto there just do the other two just to show you it's pretty pretty straightforward uh, where you don't have things that are logically you can pattern these if they're patternable and they could well be but it's uh, it's almost as fast to uh, just drag and drop these onto the uh, uh, it was the wrong one wait for the dots and again just find that edge that bottom edge right it onto there one more you notice I didn't have to go back to the library because I'm, I could drag it out of my edge bar there uh, without having to go and find it in the library again which makes life a lot easier you can see assemblies are pretty fast here so if we fit that again we don't need our sketches we can turn those off turn on our components and there's our uh, pretty little assembly um, we can change the way we look at this as well so we can take our views and just just as a matter of interest here um, I might want to take uh, a view override so that I've got text silhouettes floor mirror on things like that and shadows and what have you I uh, might turn the shadows off there the drop shadow so I've just got a floor mirror on and you can see that mirrored in the in the floor there okay so now we've fixed up all our properties um, I might go back to our inspect and just look at our properties and uh, update everything to allow for those uh, brackets we just put in so we've got 268 odd kilograms there close that and back to home save and now we can do our assembly drawing I'm just going to do a very quick assembly drawing here just to give you an idea just a taste of some of these things so create a drawing okay um, next I'm just going to take a standard isometric view of the hull assembly there just place him in there uh, we might make it a shaded view too just to make it look sexier and nicer um, as you can see 
pretty straightforward I can rescale that I do, you know so because it's a scrap view we can use something like that okay that's nice um, now we want to put our um, our parts list in here and just pop that down over here and what I've got here is you'll notice I've got indenting here so item 13 is our lift assembly and it's made out of the cylinder and the rod assembly and so on so we can be um, as I said we can take uh, I'll just take that out of the road and move these we can move these around anywhere we want to uh, we can reposition the arrow heads on them I'll show you that in a second um, let's take that one so if we zoom in here that arrow heads on here but if I move it want it onto there still haven't got it in the right place there we go as you can see um, a very comprehensive uh, bill of materials it's all correct all gets updated automatically we can even see our weight down in here if we zoom in I haven't got the formatting there quite right uh, this date until I save this will be incorrect it's a dummy date but the moment I save that so as I save that uh, that's the date that the draft file was actually created okay look thank you for your attention you can see um, you can see some of the aspects of, uh, of solid edge now we haven't uh, gone through uh, anything like uh, everything that can be in there but as you can see it's a very powerful program and there's uh, no limitations for creating complex sheet metal framing uh, once again thank you for attention if you have any questions don't hesitate to give us a call